done trying to chase you Every time I get close, you move I can tell by the look in your eyes You're scared of what the future lies And after all that we've been through These days I think I don't know you The days seem to come more often And my heart is beginning to hurt you Good morning! So it is a beautiful Tuesday morning. Actually, well, it's still beautiful, but the sun is no longer out. This morning I woke up and I'm like, oh my god, the sun is out! It was so beautiful because we've now been back in London for weeks and literally maybe there's been like three sunny days in like three weeks. <laughs> Anyways, gonna make the best of it regardless. I'm just waiting for my trainer to arrive. So, oh my god, it's raining actually, I just realized. So yeah, obviously I can't train. You were gonna bike to the office? you were gonna train outside? Yeah, I was gonna train outside, but I gave up on that idea because it's actually freezing. Like, it's uh, probably one degree Celsius, so yeah, it's too cold to work out outside. Yeah, definitely. I went out for a run yesterday and I was freezing. I was like, that was a mistake. So, and I know some people obviously work out in really cold weather, but I'm just not equipped. I don't have the right clothes. I don't have the proper outfits. And if you don't do it the proper way, you can get sick really easily. Anyway, so just waiting for my trainer to arrive and gonna prep, yeah, put the yoga mat and weights and all that stuff. Done trying to chase you. Every time I get close, you move. I can tell by the look in your eyes. You're scared of what the future lies. And after all that we've been through, these days I think I don't know you. The days seem to come more often. And my heart is beginning to. So now I'm out for a walk with Alexa. She's so cool. She's wearing glasses, and I forgot my sunglasses at home. And we have a scooter here behind me that she's been riding at home for the last couple of days and now when we're going out she was like which is uh, the way she describes the scooter wheels uh, basically the scooter going in motion and I said okay fine we can go to the nearby garden and practice scooting around here and yeah she's already off where are you going where are you going munchkin okay I gotta go catch her guys Alexa found a sandbox she's contemplating to go in but this is not the beach, Alexa. The sand is wet from all the rain. <laughs> Are you ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> oh, she walks away. I'm gonna catch you! Where are you running to? She's running everywhere these days. Give me a hand. <laughs> There's these funny little prickly balls. You guys can tell me what this is. I'm not really sure. But Alexa loves them. What is it? Did they fall off the tree? Do you know which tree they fell off? Please what? You want more balls? Yeah? Here. Here's another one. <laughs> so we're about to bike off somewhere special today we're meeting Christina from Fully Raw Christina YouTube channel if you guys are on YouTube I'm sure you've heard of Christina and we actually have been friends for a couple of years probably two three years online we've friends. Skyped like online friends yeah like we've Skyped and like virtually chatted WhatsApp each other many many times and finally she's in London so I'm super excited to meet her we're meeting at this um, place which is raw vegan obviously and it's in Notting Hill so we're gonna bike there Alex is joining us for lunch hey Alex you're being, you're being very adventurous because I told me I'm gonna bike and she's like I'll bike I said I'll bike it's and then cold. I was like I realized I'm gonna be freezing but then Alex let me borrow his hat which I think looks pretty good on me too all right so let's go I don't want to be late let's go
Yeah, we're finally met. Hi, Christina. And Hi. this is Cash. Hey, what's up? What's up? I couldn't be more happy to see you today. I've, I've been following Mimi for like four to five years. I just, I love her so much. I love you too. I feel like I've known you my I know, whole it's so life. weird. I feel like when I know When I first like, saw you now in real life, I was like, but I feel like I've, I've seen, seen you before. It's so strange. It's like yeah, it's surreal. Weird. And I know a lot of you guys, when you meet like yeah. me, you say the same thing. It's like, oh my God, it's like, you're real. And I had the same feeling because I watched you on YouTube so many times. I'm like, oh, you're real. <laughs> You're the same. Super excited to eat some delicious raw vegan food. Yes. Ooh, we found the spot. The table. Get a little more personal. <laughs> <laughs> because we love dancing to salsa. Then we have some roasted potatoes, some cucumber, cauliflower, tomatoes. But carrots first today. Every time I get close you move. I can tell by the look in your eyes. You're scared of what the future So Alex is. and I are off to a surprise date. Um, we just put Alexa down for sleep. She's sleeping. We're off the parent duties. And surprise dates is something that we used to do a lot with Alex when we first started dating. It was kind of like, not a rule, but it's something we did every month. I would either surprise Alex or Alex would surprise me. And um, the key here was that it doesn't have to be anything big or fancy, but it has to be a surprise. Tonight is fancy though. Really? <laughs> So I have no clue where we're going. I did ask you if there's any dress code or anything. I don't know what, if it's fancy, you don't have to dress fancy. Interesting. I'm in a hoodie. So I think the best part about like having the surprise dates is like literally knowing nothing about where you're going and just kind of letting go. I think it's an important part of being in a healthy relationship is letting go and trusting the other person. So yeah, I have to be honest, I haven't surprised Alex on a surprise date in a long time. Obviously ever since we had Alexa, we haven't been out together as much, you know, we still go out quite a lot, I would say, but just not as much as we did before, because before that we would go out all the time. Yeah. So, any hints? Just, it, it's simple, I it's, So far, just fancy. It's just fancy, simple, delicious. Hmm. Indian? <laughs> we'll see. If I know you well, okay, let me take a guess, and then obviously we'll, we'll see if it's the right place yeah. or not. So if I know you, you're taking me to this Indian restaurant that we went to a few months ago, which is a new restaurant, and it's like amazing. The food is just incredible. Probably one of the best Indian restaurants I've ever been to. Is it the place? You'll see. You'll have to <laughs> Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. So I, I couldn't remember the name of the restaurant. It's called Indian Accent. Yeah, I've been here once and like I said, the food is incredible. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. I'm really excited to be here because this place has really, really special food. So again, thanks to Alex. And we're going all out. Yeah, we're going to get nine course. a nine course, basically Indian. Indian. Yeah, if you like obviously Indian or flavorful, flavorful food, you will really appreciate this place because the flavors are just out of this world, but the portions are tiny. That's why you can do nine courses, obviously. Otherwise, there would be no way I could do that. My mocktail. Mm. I don't even know how to eat. Mm. Oh wow, it's spicy. Mm. Thank you. 
I'm done trying to chase you Every time I get close you move I can tell by the look in your eyes You're scared of what the future lies Alright, so this is a nun filled with truffles. It's like the best thing in the world. Um, I don't think I can eat anymore.